Intelligent Rescue System for Scuba Divers The main aim of the project is to reduce the level of scuba divers' death rates. The body parameters are monitored in such a way that helps in saving a diver's life. Advancement in communication system is well developed. Objectives To avoid the level of accidents and death rates of scuba divers. The parameters like heartbeat, respiration system, temperature of the human body under water are monitored by this rescue system. Parameter status are shown in the binary display. Any abnormalities in any of these parameters, the vibration sensor triggers the driver circuit. Solenoid valve opens and compressed air is released into the light suit from an air duster. Radio frequency communication system is designed in the system so that the receiver alarms for rescue. Scuba diving is a mode of underwater diving in which a scuba diver uses a self-contained breathing apparatus to breathe underwater. Sport diving is another un underwater sport that uses recreational open circuit which consists of a set of individuals and team events conducted in a swimming pool that tests the competitioner's competency in recreational scuba diving technique. Most divers use scuba tanks filled with simple compressed air. This is safe and standard with recreational diving limits. Deep sea diving is an activity in which a person can descend beyond the recreational scuba diving limit of 40 feet, which is 130 feet. Beyond this depth, safer and more complex equipment must be designed. Annual Death Report Here is the death rate in scuba diving from the year 1980 to 2004. Need for the new system in order to clarify the design requirements for the diver's safety, a literature survey was conducted to identify the standards and regulations. The project will not only enable underwater physiological data collection and estimate the cognitive stated, but also is aimed to be an important tool of safety. At this stage, another challenging task is ensuring that the intelligent rescue system must safely move around the diver in any mechanical aquastical, electrical or electromagnetic hazard to be avoided. The parameters like heart sensor, respiratory and temperature sensors are used to monitor the diver's status and is shown in the binary display. Radio frequency is a communication system between the scuba divers and the person who stands near the seashore. So the person can save the scuba divers once the signal is being delivered from the diver's rescue area. Thus, the process is needed and adopted to prevent the diver related to the diving activity and the divers. Methodology Step 1. Switch on the power supply. Step 2. Microcontroller used is PIC16F72 which monitors the three body parameters like the body temperature, respiration rate, heart rate. Any malfunctioning in these parameters, the microcontroller triggers the solenoid driver and compressed air is let out through the solenoid valve. The compressed air fills the airbag and the life suit inflates for rescue. Working. The microcontroller is programmed to detect abnormalities in a driver using an intelligent rescue system. Whenever there is a malfunctioning in the body parameters, microcontroller triggers the valve of the compressed air container. Immediately, the solenoid valve opens and compressed air is let into the airbag of the scuba diving suit and the jacket inflates. The status of the diver is continuously shown in the binary display. Eventually, the diver is brought above the sea level for rescue. RF communication system is also assembled for locating them during rescue. The diver can also trigger the airbag manually in case of torment situation by a manual trigger which is being assembled in the system itself. References These are the references which were used in designing the system with proper design and materials which are being assembled. Hi friends, our topic is intelligent rescue system. The main aim of the project is to reduce the death rates in scuba diving. We have designed a kit which consists of a microcontroller which is PIC 16F72. We are considering three body parameters like the body temperature, respiration rate and the uh, heartbeat sensor. So the body temperature we use as thermistor, for respiratory rate we use a flex sensor and for heartbeat sensor we use a pulse oximeter. The microcontroller is then connected to a solenoid driver 
which will vibrate the vibrator sensor in case of malfunction of three parameters. In, if there is any malfunction in these parameters, immediately the vibrator sensor vibrates and triggers the DC motor which is connected to an air duster which will inflate the light jacket of the diver to come about the sea level. There is an RF communication system which is being assembled in the kit at the receiver end to rescue the diver in case of emergency purposes. The topic is Intelligent Rescue System for Scuba Divers. Components include a battery source that power up the microcontroller and has a reset button. Three sensors are connected to the microcontroller. First one is the flex sensor which senses the respiratory movement of the diver. Heartbeat sensor. Temperature sensor with a thermistor. A manual switch which is also connected to the microcontroller. Solenoid. Solenoid driver circuit drives the DC motor that triggers the propulsion unit to inflate the airbag. Vibration sensor plays a key role in the entire procedure. The heartbeat sensor is connected to the PIC microcontroller and the pulses are synced through the reset button. The flex sensor monitors the respiratory motion of the diver. The inhalation and exhalation is determined through minor changes in the flex sensor fitted on the belt. It is indicated by an LED. Irregularities in any of the parameters will trigger the solenoid driver circuit via the vibrator sensor which fires up a propulsion unit. Thank you.